Chinese painting is a traditional form of painting in which we dip a brush in water, ink or color, and paint on silk or paper. The subjects of Chinese painting can be divided into people, mountains and rivers, flowers and birds, and etc. Techniques can be divided into fine painting and freehand. Please take a look at this picture. Do you think the stones and the bamboo in the picture are dry or wet? Although drizzle is not painted, the bamboo leaves and the stones are moistened by the rain. Believe it or not, the color to create this delicate effect is only from ink and plain water. Chinese ink painting pays special attention to the use of ink. There are five types of ink depending on the amount of water in it as well as the amount of ink on the brush, namely nong mo, thick ink, dan mo, light ink, gan mo, dry ink, shi mo, wet ink, and jiao mo, strong ink. Thanks to various styles of ink painting and the flexibility of the brush as well as the water absorption of the paper, the painter can freely express the colorful word. Adjusting the thickness of ink with water, the painter can get different tones of black such as pure black and gray. In addition to these two colors, there is white in the ink painting too. But this sort of white is not produced by white pigment, but created by Liu Bai, leaving the paper blank. Please look at this painting, the sky. The river and the clouds in mountains are all created in this way. Leaving the paper blank is to leave a blank in the work, which is a wise layout of Chinese painting, giving the audience space to ponder and imagine. Chinese painting attaches great importance to blank space in the work where spirit flows and life flows. The artist only paints the horse, but we can feel the wind. The painter only paints the shrimp, but we can feel the clarity of the water and even the quietness of the moment when the painter watches the sun penetrate the clear water and fall on the shrimp. Chinese traditional paintings are not as realistic as Western traditional paintings. For example, Chinese painting is often not only a presentation of specific time and space, but a free combination of space to convey the artist's subjective intention. One of the most famous paintings in China is Fuchun Shan Zhi Tu, Dwelling in the Fuchun Mountains, a six meter long painting by Huang Gongwang. The painter began this painting at the age of 80, and it took him four years to finish it. In the painting, the mountains with different shapes, hundreds of trees with different poses, and the wide space outlined by them tell the story of a river stream and an old man. Sounds from fishing boats at night, woodcutters coming back late, the silence of the forest and the flowing of quiet water. The painter's lifelong pursuit has condensed in this painting. In this section, we have discussed the unique Chinese calligraphy and ink painting with black and white as a primary color. They are not colorful, but fully display the Chinese style. Therefore, they can be the typical representative of Chinese art.